We're now in the final stretch heading into NBA All-Star Weekend. As the calendar flips, we're now just two days away and the Queen City getting ready. The first change you'll see, of course, road closures. Orange signs are up all around the Spectrum Center as the city puts up a barrier around the heart of Uptown. And security across Charlotte will be tight from Uptown to East Charlotte all the way into South Charlotte. Charlotte. City leaders say they're All-Star ready. More on the traffic with Brooke, but first, Richard talked with police for the latest on security. Yeah, the latest is being prepared. The city says the all-star game is here. They want to make sure everyone has fun, but they want to make sure folks are safe and know what to expect from this big event. We had an exclusive behind the scenes look at workers putting together the finishing touches on what will be the NBA on TNT All-Star Weekend set. This process months into the making. Just one of the many ways the city is preparing for this weekend's big event. And as far as operations for the fire department, we are we're fully staffed to handle all the day to day incidents as well as the increased incidents that are generated by the uh, the increased traffic that's coming to Charlotte. And city officials says it's also ready to make sure the 150,000 guests and locals are safe when they participate. Extra police staffing around the clock for the next four days. The CMPD command center will be operating. Uh, it is where our unified command will be. And uh, we'll be working uh, with that unified command to ensure that we are responding to, uh, to incidents when we're needed. And if you don't have to, it might be better if you plan to take the light rail or even Uber or Lyft if you plan to get anywhere near Uptown. Generally Uptown, but also specifically around Spectrum Arena. Uh, the convention center, as well as Bojangles Arena out on Independence Boulevard. We anticipate some significant traffic delays. Because as you can see, these streets will be closed during these events. Thursday evening, between 6 and 7 o'clock in the evening, we're going to begin road closures, particularly on Trade Street and Fifth Street around Spectrum. Uh, this will significantly impact the traffic uh, late Thursday evening, as well as all day Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah, so while the events will be a lot of fun for people who are making that evening commute, it may provide some headaches as well. So the best advice tomorrow about this time, those barriers and, and closures will start taking place. So plan ahead, leave early or, you know, take the day off. I can't. Maybe you can. <laughs> we're, we're here at the Spectrum Center. We're here at Epicenter. I'll send it back to you guys. Yeah, Richard, Richard we, Devane, in we, his feelings right now, Richard. We always we could take the day off. I'm in my feelings about it, too. Yeah. Road closures, of course, start tomorrow ahead of the big NBA All-Star Weekend here in Charlotte. Expect to see a lot of extra traffic with more than 150,000 visitors expected to descend upon the Queen City. NBC Charlotte's Brooke Katz has a look at what you can expect, Brooke. Yeah, Fred and Sarah, and with that number of people descending on the Charlotte area, you can imagine we are going to see our fair share of traffic headaches. So those closures that we were talking about, those are all around the uptown area, as Richard was mentioning, right around the Spectrum Center. You can see we have East 5th Street, East Trade Street. They're going to be closed between North North College and North Davidson. South Brevard and South Caldwell will be closed between 4th and 6th Streets. So those closures start tomorrow evening, so be aware of that. Something else to keep in mind, officials say you really should avoid Independence Boulevard as well as Bojangles Coliseum, specifically tomorrow night. It's going to be pretty busy there. They have the celebrity game going on. It's also an Uber and Lyft drop-off location or pickup location, so keep that in mind. As far as parking goes, expect full garages in Uptown, and street parking is going to be limited to non-existent in that area, so be aware of that. You're also going to experience limited parking at the Avid Exchange Music Factory, so be aware of that as well. And then finally, you can always head to our website, WCNC.com. We have your entire survival guide. Everything you need to know is there about parking and about what you can expect with those road closures, everything else that you need to know. Fred and Sarah, WCNC.com. Brooke, thank you.